This could be one of the most important videos you ever watch as a trader, so pay close attention. If you want to become a profitable trader, the foundation of it all is going to be candlestick charts. And by the end of this video, you will master them. I don't care if you're an absolute beginner who's just starting from zero, I got you covered, or if you're an advanced trader, I'm going to share some techniques I've developed over the last six years that's really going to help you make a lot of money trading. And this isn't going to be like any video you've watched before. I'm not just going to chuck a bunch of candlestick patterns at you and tell you you're going to become a millionaire. No, I'm going to go much deeper and give you what you need to succeed trading. The course is going to be split into three different parts. First, I'm going to teach you how to read and interpret candlestick charts. In part two, I'm going to teach you how to use these when actually trading the market. And in part three, I'm going to teach you the most important candlestick signals, not patterns, out there that you need to be aware of. And as a bonus throughout this entire video, I'm going to be giving you a strategy that'll let you, by the end of this video, be an expert on every single candlestick pattern out there without memorizing a single one. If that sounds good, get a pen and paper and let's get started. So if you take a look, here we have uh, two different candles. You can see the middle bits are called bodies and we can either have a bearish or bullish candle. A bullish candle, like the white one, goes up. A bearish candle, like this black one, goes down. That means price starts at the bottom, goes to the top on the white, starts at the top, goes to the bottom on the black. Then we've got the wicks, those are these two lines up here, and that's just price movement outside of the bodies of the candle. Not very difficult. Now you will notice that most people will use red and green candles. Green for bullish candles, red for bearish candles. I don't do this. My charts actually look like this. And that's because when I see white and blue, I don't really get any sort of emotional reaction. When I see green, I feel greed, money, uh, bullishness. When I see red, I feel fear, panic, danger. I don't want those emotions distracting me from trading. So I do advise you make your charts a different color, something that doesn't emotionally affect you, black and white, red and blue like this, whatever you want. Okay, so let's zoom in and take a look at this candle over here. The first thing I want to cover are wicks. This line over here, showing price movement outside of the body of the candle. That means if the wick is on the bottom here, the price has been pushed up all the way to the top here. That right there is a sign of bullish strength because the price came all the way down here, but buyers stepped in and bought it back up to the top. I want you to take a look over here and you'll see a very similar thing, a huge price push down outside of the body of the candle. This shows selling pressure. This shows strength from the bears. The color of the body, we don't care about. We're just looking at wicks right now. Now, the other thing you need to remember to do is look at candles together. Here we have a lot of wicks on the chart. You can see this huge wick here showing significant price movement down. However, you can see one, two, three wicks here that don't really matter as much. Why? Because in context, they don't matter. Never look at wicks alone. Always look at it in comparison to other candles. This is really important when doing candlestick analysis. Never look at them in isolation. Always look at them in the wider context. These two wicks are only big because every other wick around them is small. If we zoom in here, one, Two very important wicks, but all of these other ones don't really matter. Why? Because of the size. Next, we're going to zoom in and look at candle bodies. A big bearish body over here represents a big move by the bears. A big bullish body over here represents a big push, a big move by the bulls. Bulls buying pressure, bears selling pressure. Lots of selling happening here, lots of buying happening here. Again, the size is always relative. So this here is a large selling candle. However, zoom out and suddenly it's not a large or significant candle because here we have several other candles that are more significant. So whether you're looking at the big picture or the small picture matters a lot, remember that. Take a look at this example over here. Price is going down a lot repeatedly. Suddenly we see one big buying candle bigger than two big selling candles. So relative large buying candle. And then right afterwards we see another more irrelevant small green candle than another big one that's bigger than all the close relative candles. And this is just using simple candle body analysis. We can see the start of a reversal and price start to trend upwards after those big moves. You can see the same thing here again, big selling candle bigger than everything else before it. As soon as you see that big move down, following it, you see a lot more moves down. So you see this crash here, you assume it's going to go lower. You see here, two big green candles, you assume it's going to go higher afterwards. Similarly here, look, we see selling candles bigger 
than the previous candles. What does that mean? Price might go down afterwards, goes up a bit and then continues down. The red candles are winning, the red candles are winning. You expect continuation, slight shift here. Price follows afterwards. Now remember, you're going to need a lot more to trade profitably, but there's so much information in just looking at these candles. So moving on to part two, you've got the basics down. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. You just need to know that there aren't that many variables. You've got wicks and bodies. You've got bearish bodies and bullish bodies. That's it. Now I'm going to give you three essential rules when conducting candlestick analysis. The first one is, it's always more important to make sure you have your key levels checked out. I've never met a trader that just uses the candles. Support and resistance are still king. Now that we have our support and resistance levels, we can zoom in and we can get a lot more information out of these candles. For example, here the price is approaching a key resistance. There's a lot of momentum from the bulls, so we're expecting this resistance to break. However, look what happens as we get more information. We see a big wick rejection here and a large crash down. These selling candles are bigger than most of the previous buying candles. So this is our first sign that, huh, this resistance might not be as strong as we first thought. So let the price continue now, and you will see, again, another wick rejection. Price rejected, price rejected, price rejected. Every time the price goes up there, we see bears selling. We see the majority of these candles are selling candles. The buying candles can barely keep up. There's sell pressure all over. But the things we focus the most on are going to be these candles over here at our key levels. Similarly, look at these candles here at the key levels. We saw a big push up straight into resistance. See, if we just go back a second at this point, because we had this big push up, the bulls showed a bit of strength. They showed a quick buyback. So the argument becomes a little bit more even, but then again, huge resistance there. The bears are showing that they're in control again. Price is coming down and this time we see a wick but then it comes back down. It barely bounces. Each of these bounces are getting weaker and weaker. The buyers are struggling to push the price up. And you can see that from these wicks. And then finally, we get this. The buyers have failed to push the price up above the key level. We see a big bearish candle break through this. Following that, we got another push up from the buyers over here, but price did not go up as high. Two bullish candles, and then the bearish candles immediately get rid of that the size of the wicks continually gets smaller until we see a full body breakthrough. So we always want to look at how the candles react to key levels. The other really important thing that I hinted at earlier is you cannot look at these candles in isolation. So take a look at this candle right here. This shows a lot of buying pressure. There's a huge wick relative to the body size. And so often I see amateur traders see something like this and think, oh, it's time to buy, it's bullish. However, if you take a look at it in context, you can see it's not near a key level. That's rule one. And rule, rule two, it's relatively small compared to everything else around it. Now, the final rule of using candlesticks is to never, ever under any circumstances use them in isolation. I want you to add in moving averages. I want you to use Fibonacci levels, support and resistance, Ichimoku cloud, whatever other main technical analysis tools you use, you want to combine them all together to get a more complete picture. The candles are just one data point amongst many. So now we're going to put together everything you've learned in the video so far to use my visualization technique to be able to understand every single chart pattern out there. So I'm just gonna go into Google, search candlestick patterns list and see what comes up right now. Okay, so this is the visualization technique. I want you to imagine that there is a battle going on between the bulls, the buyers and the sellers on the charts. And when we look at these candlestick charts, we're going to try just determine who's winning the war. If you can figure out if the bears are winning, it is going to be a bearish pattern. If the bulls are winning, it's going to be a bullish pattern. If no one's winning, it's going to be a neutral pattern. And I'll make sure to share my favorite ones that are actually useful for you to know as well. Two of the ones I really like are these two over here, doji and spinning tops. The doji has no body and equal wicks on either side. The spinning tops have an equal bearish and bullish body and equal wicks on either side. Clearly, no one is winning the war. These sorts of candles often appear when the market is going sideways and in consolidation. Now, one of the most popular bullish patterns, the hammer. Take a look here. We see two red candles, the bears, 
pushing the price down, and then suddenly a big wick and body for the bulls. You can also see that this wick and body is bigger than the previous bearish candle. This hammer shows a change in the tide of battle, that the bulls are winning now, and then following that you can see two green candles. Next, if you take a look at the dragonfly doji. This is very, very similar to the hammer and represents exactly the same thing, a big push up from the bulls. Normally you want to see this candle here a little bit bigger than the previous bearish candles, at least significant in size, context wise. And what it represents is a shift in the tide of battle. So these two have fancy names, but they're both showing exactly the same thing. A big wick showing buying pressure from the bulls. Now I'm going to show you one more bullish reversal pattern you want to pay close attention to. I absolutely love this one. This is called a bullish engulfing. And it's great because it uses context, one of our key principles for analysis. You can see two bearish candles over here going down and then a very small bearish candle. Following this small bearish candle, you see a relatively big bullish candle. And this one eats the previous two. So the bulls just did a push big enough to be larger than the previous two pushes by the bears. The bulls are winning the war and they're showing a huge sign of strength. Often following this, you'll see a reversal. Now you're going to see a pattern here with the bearish candles I pick. Pattern one that I quite like are shooting stars and gravestone dojis. And you've guessed it, big wicks and bodies or just a big wick relative to the candles before shows selling pressure and is a sign of reversal, often followed by two bearish candles. And finally, we have bearish engulfing, exact same principle as bullish engulfing, where we see a red candle that engulfs the previous bullish candle or candles and then results in a reversal. So with this, you now know every single candlestick pattern because you understand it in depth. Let me show you some examples on Bitcoin recently. So here about 21.3, 21.5 has been a key level on Bitcoin for a while and price comes up to test it. And as it does, we see this right here, as shown earlier, a bearish engulfing candle. So this bearish candle here eats the previous one. And following that, we see another bearish candle. And then finally, a huge bearish candle coming down. And what could have really helped us predict this is this first engulfing sign. If we go back a little bit further, we know 25K is a key structural level and resistance on Bitcoin. So take a look here. One, huge wick pushing down. Two, huge wicks pushing down. Three in a row, we've seen signals that matter at this key level over here. And then following that, what you see, price goes down. I'm not going to overcomplicate the basics. That is all you need to know about candlestick patterns. They're a great tool that often get overcomplicated and people look for magic patterns instead of just understanding what information they're trying to represent. I hope this is helpful. Subscribe to the channel for more.